Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to a happy live stream on Father's Day. I know you guys are probably just getting notifications of the live stream, so I'll give it a little bit till people join in. Hope you guys are all having a awesome Saturday, or excuse me, Sunday. Happy Father's Day. What up everybody? Mark's here, Morgan's here, Sean's here. Thanks, appreciate it, Mark. Sense here, Andrew's here. What's up, man? Happy Father's Day. I think Andrew got a Happy Father's Day gift. That's kind of nice. What's up, Dogan? Eugene? Morgan? Bunzo? Having fun last night in Big Red's uh, chat there. Yeah, I got a nice little set of knives here. It's pretty good. Yeah, you got a new blue class. That's pretty awesome, man. Got a full size, looks like Tonto, Griptilian with custom blade. Yeah, it's nice. So I did want to say, first off, I'm kind of taking the uh, time slot of Patty's Potato Peelers. Uh, Patty sends his well wishes and is not able to make a live stream tonight so or today uh, here in America, but tonight over in Ireland. So he sends his well wishes and he will post tomorrow uh, when he's going to do his live stream for this week. So he said everything's good. Um, he had some family business to take care of. So just want me to pass that on to you guys. He's a swell guy, as we all know. And I do want to give him a huge shout out and thank you. This is from Damn Designs, but Patty sent this over to me, and it's kind of pretty special. So, look at this. Just a straight up fidget spinner from Damn Designs. So smooth. Pretty awesome. So, appreciate it, Patty. Have a good rest of your day over there, and hope your Monday goes well. And thank you for the gift. So... My gift will be on its way over here this week. Got a little return gift for him. So, anyways, I uh, just want to do a quick little. I'm going to do. A, what's up, Jeremy? I'm going to do a swap out on this Griptilian here. This is the 550 Hollow Grind full size. 154cm steel. But we're going to do a scale swap out. And we're going to put these flytanium ones on there. Now, I have to li link them below, but uh, Minnesota Knife Guy, you guys probably follow him on Instagram. He had posted these for sale, gave me a good deal on them so I could try them out. As you know, I like aftermarket scales. So, if you don't know, check out some of my videos in my Instagram. So, I definitely want to try these out. What's up, Glock by my side? And so here's kind of a look of uh, what they have on them. What's up, CK? Welcome to the live stream. Some barrel spacers that come included from Flytanium. But yeah, overall, some nice carbon fiber, I think. So I'm going to rock them out. They're going to be a little bit thinner than the standard ones here. Just a smidge, but I, I think it'll be good. What do you guys think? Definitely an upgrade for this one, I think. So, anyways, got a couple knives on the table. Want to look at? This is the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. It's one of their limited edition ones they did for Blade Show, and in cooperation with Hunt Crafted. And I'm really liking this one. So, yeah, clip upgrade. What what clip do you guys think I should put on there, Jeremy? You guys think I should go with uh, Deep Carry? I think I should go with a mini. I think I should go with a more of a, I don't know. We all have the fun split arrows, but I could put like a deep carry from some of my other knives on it. A satin mini deep. Ooh, a satin mini deep on that one. Once it has the carbon fiber. Ooh, that would look slick. I wonder if I have one of those. Hold on here. Let me look. Again, shout out to all the fathers. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Um, see you soon. And let's see. I don't know if I have a mini satin. 
looking through my little toolkit here, I have some clips. I have a satin full size. I have a satin full size, but not a mini. Well, I'll have to fix that. Or I could borrow one, I guess, from like my, one of my uh, Saibus or something. All right, well, I do want to say, again, happy Father's Day. And I also want to do a mail call opening. Now, this is something from one of the things that, if you guys know Shane Seibert, Seibert Knives, he's an awesome dude and has some amazing knives. Um, this is a package from Shane. So this is a knife that Shane designed with Benchmade, the Adamas or Automos. This one, the model number is 275BK-1801. It's a cryptic, cryptic camo that they did. And this is one of the one of the first ones I did last year reviewing wise. So I'll probably do another review on it just to get it more detail, better lighting. But what a better way to open this package from Shane with one of his knives. So yeah, it is an exclusive and uh, you can only get it from them. So yeah, it's a pretty nice one. We'll leave it open there for a minute. Hopefully there's nothing too revealing in here. Let's take a look. I don't think so. I think it's all just thing. But so, um, shout out to Michelini. She made these packets, these gift packets, 25 of them to celebrate Shane and Cybert Knives 25th year anniversary of knife making. So, and he was, uh, he was selling them on his Instagram and I was like, what an opportunity to celebrate with Shane. So, this is his uh, mini pocket rocket, 25th year anniversary. This is a sticker, that's pretty sweet. Then we got one of the, what's up Big Red? One of the Cyber Knive stickers on top of it. So that's cool. And then we get a, another sticker of Cyber Knives. It's a pretty awesome one there built for hostile environments. And if you know Shane Seibert's knives, they're definitely built for hostile environments. Oh, this is sweet. This is a little lapel pen. Let's see if it'll focus. Celebrate Shane's 25th year anniversary making knives, custom knives and collaborations with custom. This is a little shirt pin. Big red throwing down last night. That's good. What's up, Mr. Kluver? Mr. Kluver's in the house. A little cyber knives key. Keychain. Oh, is it a knife? Ooh, look at that. Let's check this out. Oh, snap. Look at that. Now that's what I'm talking about. And it's, it's even oiled. Look at that. He even went through and made sure they were oiled. I don't know if you can see that on there. That's so awesome. Man, this is going to be a custom. Too bad it's not made by him, though, huh? Yeah, the key knife's pretty sweet. And then, just a microfiber towel with his logo on it there, his 25th year anniversary logo. Some nice microfiber on the inside. So, pretty sweet stuff. So, appreciate it, Shane, for offering these. I mean, we did buy them, but... What an awesome way to celebrate his 25th year selling knives. So I have my eyes on one of his new ones that came out last year and uh, hope to get one of those hopefully this year. It's, it's on my grail list. So you know how that goes. If you know Shane's knives or look up any of his customs, you know, they're quite a bit of money and they all go usually by auction or bidding. So anyways, thanks and uh, look forward to seeing this one more on the channel. This is the uh, Adamas or Adamas, but built to live in rugged situations. So anyways, a little recap, happy Father's Day to everyone out there. Uh, happy Father's Day. And also Patty from Patty's Potato Peelers uh, sends his well wishes. He's not able to make it right now live today, 
uh, had something with his family come up. He said he's doing okay, and he's going to post tomorrow as to when he'll do his live stream this week. So, anyways, let's look at a couple other knives we have going on here. We have... Yeah, I have a mat for it. Yeah, I have to, Jeremy. have to have that mat for it for disassembly. But these are the uh, medium honey badgers. And this one's the new one in D2. And they said this first run has like the, you know, red backspacers on them. So, but if you can't miss it, D2. Little honey badger model number on there. When did I get the Damascus bench made? Uh, I have a couple of them. Which one are you talking about? Like the bug out, the gold class bug out this year. And this is the one that JT's knife life customized for me from last year's honey badgers. Slicey's in the house. What's up, Slicey? Got my Slicey Dicey sticker. If you haven't got yours, hit them up, get a sticker. But yeah, JT's knife life did some good work on that. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, so you'll be seeing a review coming up on that. This is the D2 one here that'll have the review. Uh, the only thing is that I've noticed is the detent is like super weak. Like there's, you don't even hear anything. Basically you're hearing the blade hitting. So I know a couple people had concerns with that. So I'm gonna reach out to them and see what the thoughts were, but I mean, super weak, super smooth compared to, you know, the previous models. Oh, I'll take it apart? Okay. I'll take it apart, put it back together. That'll probably help. I mean, the travel is great and everything on the lockup. Brian's in the house. And one thing I will say as an update, I did the washer swap out. That'll, that'll be posting up here this week. But I took these nylon washers out of my large Pilar and put in the copper, or sorry, the phosphor bronze ones. And I'm still just having trouble with the, the smoothness on this one. So anyways, so we'll go from there. So the orange one. Oh, you blew the detent out of it? <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm gonna be trying to work this one, this in this week just to see if I can get that smoothness. I may have to take it apart again and uh, you know, see the washers there and maybe sand them down. I'm not sure. So the orange one here, this is the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. Yeah, exactly, Slicey. It didn't make a huge difference on mine either. Uh, this is the Hunt Crafted Edition they did with it. Hey, Russia's present. Nice, Russia, thanks, man. Why you got? Why you gotta be like that? Hopefully we can block that. Let's see. Gonna remove that. Sorry, I had to remove a comment there. I should make some of you guys uh, moderators on here so you can police some of that. Uh, yeah. So anyway, this is a Spider Monkey, uh, Hunt Crafted Edition. This one's number fifty. They made fifty of them for Hunt Crafted for Blade Show. And yeah. Pretty sweet, you know, the orange thumb studs, the orange backspacers, it pops really, really well. And it's hard to show on camera kind of how orange it is. Um, yeah, definitely he supports lots of great causes. I did want to show you the other one. This is the carbon fiber one. Slicey's recommendation. This carbon fiber one rocks. And of course, as soon as I got that one, they came out with this one and I contacted Huntcraft and they're like, man, it's a bummer. You're not going to make the blade show, but they, you know, got one to me. I had to purchase it, but you know, it's all good. Yeah. Slicey, man. Holy cow. He's selling some great knives here the other day. Is that yesterday? Some good stuff on there. So anyways, those are the Southern grind spider monkeys. I'm really happy with them. The short deep pocket carry, you know, multi, almost deep pocket carry clips are working pretty well. So, anyways, but yeah, this is the pair of three. 
I did have something on the pair of three I was going to do this weekend. I'll probably get that done tonight. Hey, what's up, Amos? Oh, you're resetting the collection. Nice, Slicey. Uh, one of the things offered is, if you've seen... Now, I know uh, Blades We Love does a bunch of uh, aftermarket, you know, titanium screws, anodized aluminum ones. Uh, I ordered some from the eBay seller XXX Adrenaline XXX. I've linked him down below in the description here of this video. I ordered a set of screws. It's like an entire screw set for the pair of three lightweight. So this is my normal, normal pair of three. And the lightweight I have over here, hopefully. Yep, here we go. Yeah, Blade Show I bet does. So here's the lightweight. I'm gonna swap these out and put these blue titanium screws in there. So I think that'll look pretty sick. I'm gonna do that tonight. But yeah, uh, again, shout out to JT's Knife Life, Big Red EDC. I've linked them down below. Big Red EDC hosts Saturday Knife Live every Saturday night. If you haven't checked it out, check it out next Saturday night or on his YouTube channel right now. One of the cool things is he does a giveaway every weekend, you know, every Saturday night. Uh, or sometimes it gets into almost Sunday morning. But, yeah, so he did one last week. I won, and he threw in a bunch of extra stuff. So it's going to be going to my giveaway. So look for my 2.5K giveaway on my channel here. I will also send out a link on that later. But check that out. Make sure you get signed up. Leave a comment. Tell your friends. Uh, once I hit 2,500 subscribers on YouTube here, I will go ahead and, sorry, had to remove a bad comment again. Uh, I don't sell any parts for any of them. I usually pick them up from other subscribers. So, or from other, you know, aftermarket retailers. I know, like I said, I know Blades We Love does them. What's up, Randy? And then I have uh, the guy from Australia, XXX Adrenaline XXX. Those are the ones I just picked up for the lightweight and uh, the pair of three lightweight. And I also got some bug out parts from him, which is kind of cool. He sells them, but I got some thumb studs. So I got some thumb studs right here, blue and gray. And I also got There's a set of the blue ones. And then he's selling, he's making and selling like these backspacers for bug outs. And also 940s. Uh, the 940 ones I got are the purple and the green ones here, or kind of maroon ones. And I had some blue ones. He makes some blue ones too, but he's out, so... If you find him on uh, eBay, he has them at like $1,000, but I don't know why he just doesn't remove it and put it back on, but yeah. Do I need to go back and block that guy? Hold on here. I timed him out. So let me see if I can block it real quick, and then we'll get back into it. No. Okay. Uh, so what are you guys carrying today on this Father's Day 2019? While I open up another package here, this is some stuff I picked up this week from Recycled Firefighter. I'm going to add this to my giveaway. It's a front pocket little ooh, buck out sack. Cold Steel American Lawman. Should we all do the American Lawman for Slicey? Gerber Flatiron. Ooh, nice. Oh, you got it for Father's Day. Congrats. Got your old sack in there. And TRM Adam. Yeah, I, I sent an email back, Randy, this morning. Bug out for you today. Okay, we'll work something out. We'll get that dialed in for you. That's a bummer those screws didn't fit. Oh, I owe you $5 on that, Slicey? Okay. 
I got gotcha. you. That makes sense. 710. Nice. Spider Co. Pair 3. Ooh, the Black G10. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Real Steel H6, Recon 1, and Man X2 Lightweight. Man, throwing down. Dogen Likey. Okay, well, let's see. Let's get cracking and pull this knife apart real quick. We got the T8 on that one. Got a Benchmade 908 SBK. Oh, yeah. Nice one, Chris. Did I get the right one? Oh, of course, that's the 7. Some Weehaw bits. Ooh, it's a Benza 21. There you go. Out in the shop, changing belts on the tractor. Well, that sounds like fun. I'm probably going to mess this all up, but that's all right. That's half the fun of doing it live, right? I think the clip ones all have Loctite on them, too, so. Hopefully just the blue feels like it. No scales yet that I've seen for a super freak. I bet it's one of those like, you know, the dealer exclusive Jade one has almost the exact same scale. So I bet those would fit the new one. You know, if you want to do a blade swap out, but I haven't seen any aftermarket ones. I have some more scales coming too that I'll be checking out, you know, and, and these are obviously af these are aftermarket ones from Flytanium. So Flytanium, if you're watching, you want to send some more for me to check out. That's cool. I bought these from Minnesota Knife Guy. He gave me a screaming deal on them, so I couldn't resist. It was that or the Red Ritter G10 Griptilian, but I think our buddy Big Red got that one and is pretty happy with it hey take care take care morgan appreciate you checking in man put your name in the giveaway yeah definitely send him some to review yeah heck yeah oh you got some super freak scales inbound where'd you get those what's up larry thanks for joining Got some super freak scales on the way. Hmm, where'd you get those from? Did I truly miss those out on the market there? I forgot how long these Griptilian screws are, holy cow. Just on the pocket clips. Oh, uh, yeah, you missed out a little bit on Big Reds there. It's all good. So there's your aftermath of what the knives are. Now, this is a used knife, so it's dirty and stuff. We'll clean it out as we go. So anyways, as I said, Patty gives his well wishes to us all. He's sad he's missing out. He'll post tomorrow an update on how he's doing and how things are going. He just had a family thing come up and isn't able to make it tonight. So he asked if I would do a live stream and tell you guys that he'll post tomorrow and then he'll uh, do a live stream this week for us. So he said he's doing good. So I hope he's doing okay. And you know, he's wrapping up his father's day over there, I think. So he's about nine o'clock or something over there. Okay, hold on here. I got a comment I need to get rid of here. Um, I need to figure out what's going on here. Uh, the Orange Southern Grind, go to HuntCrafted. I think it's HuntCrafted.com.
Huntcrafted has them. This is their logo. And then this is their branding on the knife. They had a few left. You might be able to contact them through Instagram as well. Yeah, the spider monkeys are awesome. I appreciate Slicey recommending them for so long. I don't know why it took me forever, but... What it is. So you guys got any new knives coming your way? Now that Blade Show's over. Oh, it did take you forever? Oh, okay. I don't feel that bad then. Yeah, I like their logo. The only thing, the only thing I have, I mean, I know this is their like first one with Southern Grind. I'm not a huge like billboarding fan. So like if they did hunt crafted like across the top here, or just maybe put this logo up here, that would be cool. But I'm fine with that. Oh, you just got the bug out? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. So anyways, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I hope to get and show you guys the new um, WorkSharp Benchmade pocket sharpener here, hopefully in this next week. So what do I think about the turret? I think the turret's pretty nice, pretty heavy duty. Uh, that's one of those that, you know, I'm excited to put it to the test. You know, I have the rest of my testing to film with the turret, kind of like I did with the, bench, the Benchmade bug out. And I also got an idea from someone who said, what would that look like if you put some serrations on it? But maybe get a hold of Tom Veff and see if Vef Serrations wants to uh, take part. Now I wouldn't, I know it's not a, yeah, you like your tur turret CK? Nice. What's up, Gear Tour Gear? Sean's in the house. There's a T10 I'm using for the pivot on this Griptilian. Taking apart here. I guess I could have taken apart. Holy cow, look at that. There's like a bug or something living in there. I picked, <laughs> I picked this knife up used, and I haven't taken it apart and cleaned it, so. Yeah, yay for me, huh? Good thing I have some cleaning materials here. Good thing we're going to throw those scales away. Look at that junk. Dang. Well, there you go. From the outside, it was uh, fully functional. From the inside, it looks like it, you know, went through the mud and stuff a couple extra times. Yeah, no extra charge. Got it on a deal. What do you think? Okay, let's see here. Now, the one thing I moved was my Q-tips so I could clean this, but oh well. Let me get something else. There we go. I just got a new package of Q-tips. So I'll open them up. Gotta love the beauty Q-tips, right? The precision ones. Get that Q-tip sponsorship money. Right. Gotta have Q-tips. I had that's why I had that extra set here. Uh, so this is a full size Griptilian that I'm working on with my uh, alcohol. So we'll just get some of this going. We'll dump it all over. We'll just give it a good clean up. Clean down, get all this stuff. I could take it apart some more, I guess, but this usually does a pretty good job. Get the blades out, washers out. Let those soak in that. Look at that. Yeah, it's a full size. So anyways, so 
school's out for most pl places and kids are out and people going on vacations. Can I add oil with the giveaway? Yeah, I can add some oil. I have some uh, knife pivot lube here that I ordered from him. He's pretty good about giveaway stuff too if I got a hold of him and said, hey, do a giveaway, but it's only, you know, a few bucks a bottle to buy some, so maybe I'll just buy another three pack from him. Do that. A lot of that inside stuff out, so that's good. Nasty stuff. But that's the fun part of uh, cleaning it live, right? Let me get my other rag here. the rest of this up probably gonna knock my camera over but that's eh, all right you guys can see my messy office then yeah I got some knife pivot lube right here that's great stuff I just use it when I put all my other stuff back together I was using blue lube for a long time until this stuff came out. You guys have any fun plans going on with the families today? Or are they letting you sneak out and watch live videos? I will also say, really quick, the you know, you guys watch ads when this stuff pops up to begin with. Um, I was thinking like, well, should I monetize a few months ago? Should I not? And one of the things I did was I decided to monetize to see how it would go and do a test run. The only cool part is as long as you guys are still okay with watching those. Um, oh, nice. CK is going to do barbecue. Nice, nice. If you guys are still okay with watching those ads, um, that stuff all goes right back to you guys. So... The cool part is my 2,500 subscriber, subscriber giveaway. Yeah, I have that. I'm gonna use that in a second. Right here, I'm gonna use that right before I put it back together. Oh, nice, Big Red's doing, just hanging out, chilling. I like that. Yeah, everybody's coming over to Big Red's house now. Yeah, what are you waiting for to drop? That's a good question too, yeah. Oh, we got some ribs on the smoker, nice. But the the thing I want to talk about with the ads really quick is all that's going back to you guys, which is awesome because, you know, for the last three months or whatever that it's been monetized, um, I appreciate that, Rising Tide. One of, one of the things is, is that, you know, my I got my first payment. So, you know, if you're not familiar with the way, you know, our friends do that, payment stuff, um, there's a certain threshold you have to meet before they even send you anything and you're not supposed to talk about it. So I don't want to get in trouble, but the, you know, it's all the super secret stuff that you sign. But one of the cool parts is, is I can now add that to my giveaway for my 2,500 subscriber giveaway. Oh, nice. You got a military edition infidel. Yeah. Let me know Larry after this. So the nice part is I, I can put some of that back towards you guys in the channel. So I always felt bad about like, you know, the ads on there, but at the same time, you know, like all the giveaways, there's been some donations and I'll show you a couple more that have come in here for this giveaway as well. But all the donations have been out of my pocket and that's great and super, but it's nice that the channel supports a little tiny bit of it now, which is cool. So it's going to allow me to buy like, two regular EDC knives and add them to the giveaway. So that, that means there'll at least be three in there that we know of. And there might even be more because of stuff like Big Red and there's another company that's donated. So anyways, put a little of this on there, spray it on, rub it in, wipe it off. Do the other side. So yeah, 
So I appreciate that. So your guys' support's awesome. And the more it grows, the more I can, you know, give back to you guys. And who knows? It would be awesome one day if I could support, like, sending, you know, one of my subscribers to, like, Blade Show or something. That would be so sweet. Be like, hey, you get, you know, airfare and all that included. That would be so awesome. So, okay. Well, let's take this apart the rest of the way. Oh, is it the wrong one? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. That's the T8. I should have just put that one away. What the heck? Got me all confused now. Are those smaller? The Flightanium ones are smaller than T6? Looks like they are. Hold on a second. You've been using shooter lube? Yeah, these are smaller than T6. Huh, okay. Well, so you learn something new about it every day. But that's one of the things I like about my aftermarket scales from like Rogue, Blade Works, and stuff. Um, you know, you get some of those. A lot of the screws they use are the same. You know, carbon fiber, all that. Got the ones on my 940 from Rock Scale. Put it on a 940 dash two. Pretty sweet stuff as well. So I'll try to update the links to all these below afterwards. I did put some other ones in there. There's also, so it looks like the screws on this Flytanium one are T5. T5. But I also got a giveaway. Let me show them really quick. Yeah, Big Red, let me know, man. Happy to answer questions for you. But I did get some stuff from, so I ordered these from Tale of Knives on Instagram, and I put their link down below as well in the description. A mini super freak I'm waiting for, but you can see there with their logo, Tale of Knives. So I ordered one of these, and he threw in a second one and said, I want you to put that, and then you put that in your giveaway. So that was pretty nice of him. So I'm doing a, a review coming up with, you know, a comparison between like Tale of Knives, RG2 Leatherworks, uh, Hitch and Timber, those kind of things. So he, now I got to decide which one I want to keep. But uh, I originally ordered the black one. He threw the brown one in, no charge at all, and wanted me to put it in the giveaway. So that'll be coming up soon. But just wanted to mention that as a thank you. I'm excited to get my RG2 Leatherworks ones. Those are coming this week. So hope to have those as well. I ordered a couple from him. So. Got to put my new proper in there, you know. I wonder, let's see. I don't even probably have to take those out, do I? I don't know why I'm taking it apart. Oh, really? Aramis. Oh, interesting. Is that uh, the uh, the guy in Eastern Europe? I think. I think I saw that one. Oh, I do need to take it apart, put the liners in, duh, okay. So, these, so Larry, these came from Minnesota Knife Guy who was using them on one of his knives and then took them off. So I got a deal on them. So I got about half off of what they're selling for. Um, these are Flytanium scales. And the carbon fiber seems pretty nice. You know, standoff seemed pretty nice. The screws are T5, so that's interesting. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, let me know how they go, Steve. That'd be interesting to see. Did you go with carbon fiber or is it a secret? Thanks, Big Red. Yeah. Appreciate you uh, stopping by and then let me know this week. We'll chat about the old YouTube. So there's lots of people that sell scales. So ones that I've used are, these are the first set of Flytanium ones, but the one I use all the time are Rogue Blade Works. Rogue. Um, rock scale design for these titaniums type. Uh, Rogue's also coming out with some titanium ones for the bailout. I've used um, Death Grips, Death of All Things on Instagram. Those are some sweet custom ones I have. And then I know like Putnam, or no, Putman. Putman sells them through uh, 
couple different websites, GP Knives and others. Yeah, Alan Putman. Those are some pretty nice ones too. I got those on a set of my uh, bug outs. So yeah, quite a few people doing it out there, which is nice. Um, nice to see, you know. So yeah, so we'll put these full liners inside here. Thanks, Big Red. I'll see you later, man. And we'll put in the body screws. Oh, something that matches the gray. Okay, cool. Yeah, that'd be nice to see, Steve. And let's see. I think these are going to be the T6. So it looks like you'll use a combination of the, the original existing screws. You know, this one's the liner. And it's going to be a little thinner as well than the stock one. So we'll see how that works. But there's just the one that holds them in there. So, yeah. Interesting. Guess we can get the the knife pivot lube going. All these parts everywhere. Oh my gosh. Probably just install them wrong on something else, you know. It's all good. Put a couple drops in there to hold. The bigger washers. I like the bigger washers, that's nice. How good is the super freak? Super Freak's amazing. I love it. And if they make the Super or the Mini Super Freak sooner than later, or if it comes out sooner than later, later, it'll be it'll be a champion. And I think everybody that has it can attest to that. So Yeah, you know, I try not to stray people wrong. I mean, everybody knows I like the Benchmades, so that's not a secret. Um, but the nice part is is you can sit there and go, you know, I'll tell you if any of the Benchmades are, are not worth it. You know, I think I give a pretty fair shake at them. You know, I think the only one that's been some controversy has been the bailout. And I love my bailout, but others are having, you know, the softer steel conversation about it. And I think it's a good conversation to have. You know, I think... Uh, I think there was some conversation that's already been had at Benchmade about it, you know? So, uh, Super Freak's the, the best way to go. You know, M4, you know, just amazing. Amazingly beautiful. So. Yeah, I'll include the chat, Steve, if that works. I try to include it all the time. Oh, you don't have one yet? Yeah, you gotta get one, they're pretty nice. I really like it. So we'll try to pull that access lock back, get the pivot lined up behind the camera. Oh, you saw a bailout today? What'd you think about it? Oh, you just got a Super Freak on Wednesday, okay. Yeah, it's it's gotta be one of your favorites. The You know, I was, I was pretty blessed to get a hold of one early and, you know, check it out and it was amazing so got to thank benchmade for that and more specifically hans with that he uh took care of me on that one so okay got the pivot in so the pivot went through so that's good oh you're making notes for tonight doing your uh bruise and blades blades and bruise so we'll tighten this up just so we don't lose it Oh, you're getting a new bug out tomorrow. That's awesome. Carbon fiber scales and screws. So the quickest way to get screws for it, um, you don't have to wait for the overseas one, is to go to Blades We Love on eBay. And he's got some different colored sets for the bug out, which are nice. Um, those come pretty quick. And... Uh, you still have three freaks for sale. Ooh, first production runs. 180 shipped. Holy cow, man, that's a good deal, Mr. Kluver. Yeah, Blades We Love is great for the screw sets. And I would I would say with regards to scales, uh, Rogue Blade Works has some really good ones. And he's been selling them also through Smoky Mountain Knife Works. 
So you can probably hit them up through there and see what they have left in stock and then go from him. Go for the rest on his, so. I know I'm not using the bit yet because I want to get the other body screws in, but these should all work. I think you guys are right. I think I definitely want to put a different set of, uh, or a different pocket clip on this. Uh, I wouldn't worry about voiding the warranty. Just keep your scales if you're worried about it. You know, keep the original ones if you're that concerned about it. I've, I mean, honestly, I have had mine in there for repair before um, with aftermarket scales, but it was blade stuff. And, you know, if you have stuff where, you know, you have a screw or a spring or something like that, then just take it apart and put the original ones back on if you're concerned about it. They're, they're pretty good. And, and I think I am really, really hoping really really hoping by end of the year or next year there's a turn of or change of events there and they start selling aftermarket parts that are not aftermarket they start selling like red thumb studs blue thumb studs green thumb studs purple ones you know all the ones that we want to see on them what do you guys think worth the upgrade here Uh, carbon fiber knife to the left. This is the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. S35VN. You have number 212, 384, and 440. Nice. That's a good knife, this one is. so. Yeah, I like to make it my, my own. I've actually waited. I've had these scales all week. And at Minnesota Knife Guy shipped them so fast. And I wanted to do it live. Or at least do a video of it and show you guys switching them out. Um, so anyways, full size, hollow grind, 550 HG, Griptilian from Benchmade. I like the Flytenium one so far. There's a little bit of texturing to them. But the carbon fiber is pretty good. I don't see any real voids. You know, they have some, some texturing, some carved out areas. Kind of like what Rogue did on his. You know, where it goes down towards where your finger and thumb are. So, yeah. And so I'll link to all these down below. I, I put most everybody down there. Um, ooh, Larry's getting the 212 one. Yeah, get definitely pick up those Super Freaks. That's a good deal from them. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are doing awesome. You know, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And let's see where we are. We're at 48 minutes. I think one of the things that... Uh, I'm trying to think what else we had here. I want to make sure we covered everything I was going to talk about. Kind of put it together last minute. Um, I know Patty was going to go live, so I was chatting with him and then... He had something come up, so again, he sends his well wishes. He'll be back posting stuff tomorrow. Uh, this one's the uh, dark blue, dark blue Nike, and it's got like the black underneath. Talk about the bailout. Yeah, I like the bailout. Bailout's nice. You know, I have the serrated one. Um, Grizzly Ridge or Crooked River? I'd say Crooked River if I had to compare the two. Oh, I'm sorry, Randy. That's a bummer, man. Well, keep your head up, man. That's why we're all here to support each other, right? Yeah, I mean, these are similar, so let's see. I put some carbon fiber scales on a bug out, and I'll show you here. These are one type that you can get from Rogue Blade Works. You know, he does both of these sets right here. And these are kind of milled out so you can see the patterns on this one. And these are more smooth that he makes with a little bit of carve out right here where your finger goes. Um, so you can kind of see the size difference overall. These are both serrated. 
Yeah, Randy. And then just look at your email, Randy, also about um, that other stuff, and we'll work something out. So I don't want you to be stuck with them and all that jazz. So we'll figure something out for you. But feeling-wise, um, you know, it doesn't add weight at all. Um, I think these come in at just a smidge over two ounces stock. And then with these, they're like, you know, five-tenths of an ounce more than the stock scales. So, yeah, I like I like them, you know. And I'm, I'm glad I upgraded because it's all, you know, totally, totally firm now whereas before there's a little bit of flex and that's what I like just to firm them up and give them a little extra pizzazz it makes it look really nice I'm just waiting for a, like a carbon fiber somebody posted I won't name them out but somebody posted on Instagram a little backspacer here that did a pommel delete so I really like that hoping to get those so I'll add contact information below for Rogue Blade Works and Rock Scale Designs everyone else should be listed down there uh, but I do want to put a clip on this. So let's see. I have a deep carry and kind of the black oxide. Or I could put on there. I mean, the standard one just doesn't. I don't think the standard one's going to cut it. I don't think it's going to cut the mustard. What do you guys think? Go with something else. Um, let's see here. Get my little kit out. Get a deep carry for it. So a deep carry. Parkerized, yeah. I like the parkerized ones better than the painted. The painted ones chip. So this is a this is a satin deep carry. So I have that one, which will kind of go with the blade. And the hardware. Oh, you put bug out clips on everything? Yeah, that's, that's good to go too. Or I could go deep carry this. So it blends in a little bit. Go black clip. So, okay, let me look at, let me get a deep, uh, mini deep carry bug out clip. And we'll see what that looks like on there. I can't show anybody my clip. Or my uh, my clip box there, my parts box. Let's see what that one looks like. Uh, the the super freaks come with the split arrow, so you got to add a deep carry clip. So I don't know if the mini is like rocking it there. The satin kind of pops it. All right, I'll pop the satin one on there today. Maybe I'll try to grab, uh, I'll have to stop by Benchmade, see if I can get a mini satin deep carry. I think that would be just where it's at. negative on the mini man everybody's kind of split down the middle i should do a split arrow no i'm just kidding that would be wild way too wild i like the bug out clip i've put it on a couple different knives um it works pretty good so i mean i have it on this one right here too this 940 this is kind of the this is kind of the one that comes with the saibu so i don't know if you can see it's kind of like more of a grayish color. So I got one of those and put it on there and swapped it off the other one. A little part switching. So anyways, I don't know if Slicey's still here, if he's listening. If he wants to uh, let us know what time to tune in tonight for his show. But no split arrow. Exactly, Mr. Kluver, no split arrow. But yeah, I'm hoping they start selling parts. I mean, they already started charging a little bit for clips. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to stick or not, but 
I've made plenty of suggestions with plenty of people there about selling parts. And I think they're internally communicating about it. So hopefully that'll come to fruition and we'll all get some sweet parts and we can start looking at all of our other knives and go, you know, why would you not want to spend more money with a company, right? Be like, I want to take some more of your guys' money. Oh no, actually we don't want it. So yeah. So what do you think? Pretty good swap out overall. These are the flytanium scales. Like I said, flytanium. If you have any others you want me to try out, let me know. Send them my way. Mailing address listed. I'll do a little more cleaning on this one. Oh, you got them at no charge? Nice. Yeah, and I know they're they're making some decisions on possibly, you know, taking care of people, so I'm actually glad to hear that, Sean. So Well, I would do a giveaway, but I have some really cool stuff lined up for my giveaway that hopefully will be in the next week or so. So I'm gonna roll that stuff over to that. And I am also really super close. So kind of the giveaway that I'm gonna do this week and what I'm putting stuff towards is Instagram. Uh, I'm coming up on 1,500 subscribers on Instagram or followers. And so I wanna shoot some stuff back to you guys over there. So um, you'll probably see a post on Instagram here shortly, tonight or tomorrow, talking about a giveaway there. And all you gotta do is just, you know, leave a comment and I'll say what for and we'll go from there. Oh, I also do wanna mention, I saw it right before I jumped on here, um, kniferights.org got a knife donated to him from Selby Knives. And if you haven't seen Selby Knives, they're, he's a, Brian Selby's an amazing guy, making some pretty sweet knives. Go to kniferights.org, donate, there's a giveaway going to win one of his uh, fixed blades. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, you need a deep, somebody needs a deep carry clip. Oh, it could be a pocket clip. <laughs> need a deep carry clip for, um, let me see if I have some for, you guys gonna talk me in a giveaway, huh? Hmm, what could we do for a giveaway? Yeah, exactly. We gotta do something more fun than that. Let me see what I got over here. Hold on really quick. I always gotta have something fun going on. As so you guys have seen, I've been using this guided field sharpener. A, yeah, a Q-tip giveaway, that'd be sweet. Um, let's do this. How about one of these? This is a crazy awesome guided field sharpener from Benchmade and WorkSharp. Let's give this away. How about we'll do that? So it kind of gives back to you guys for tuning in live. So I'm gonna do something similar to what Big Red does. And then on top of this, if I have a clip that you, the winner can basically pick one clip. So if you need a deep carry clip or a mini deep carry, I'll, I'll throw one of those in. So let's do that. So let me put this on here. Let me get a piece of paper, write it down really quick. Let me put it on this cardboard here. And my trusty Sharpie. I love it. You guys know I love doing giveaways, but this is this is that stuff that if, if Benchmade or WorkSharp like Sponsored me and gave me those. Man, I give them away every single time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to do a two-letter combination um, similar to like AA, but it's not AA. No, it's not AA. So anything in the whole entire alphabet, it could be a two-letter combination. Make sure your caps lock is on. Wait until you see someone post start, which I will post start on here in just a minute. Um, or maybe I'll just tell you. So hold on, let me write it down really quick. 
Yeah, DJ Kelly. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's see here. So let's do... Let's see... Oh, Dogan, you got to stay, man. We're just about to do a giveaway. Or everybody else is like, yeah, see you later. Okay. So I folded this up. I'll put it on top of here. 1989, exactly. So it's a two-letter combination. Go ahead and start with your guesses. And we will go from there. And if I see it, I will tell you. If nobody comes close, then I will give it a little hint. Trying to catch up on it. I like the I like the guesses so far. Everybody's cruising along. So I haven't seen it yet. It's something related to if you've tuned in this whole time, you would have seen something. That would give you a giveaway, like a giveaway hint. See some people getting warm, so that's good. People getting really warm. And I'll probably need your guys' help. Okay, so I think I saw somebody win it. I think I saw somebody guess it right. So let me go back. I'll probably get, I'll need your guys' help to kind of sort through it to make sure. Let's open this up and I'll show you guys. I've seen it a couple times now. Now, this would have been the clue for it. <laughs> So let me go back through really quick. I think, and the, the crazy part is, I think the person that won it has those same initials. But I wanna double check. I see it as being Steve Kluver. So, but it took him a while to guess that, which was interesting, but I guess I wasn't going for his name, so. Now, if you guys wanna help me and just scroll back through the messages so we can confirm, I'm seeing it be Steve Kluver, so. Yeah. All right, well, so Steve, you won yourself a guy who feels sharpener from Work Sharp and a pocket clip of your choice. There you go. Perfect, Larry. So, anyways, I want to say Happy Father's Day again to all the fathers out there including my own, and that Patty's potato peelers will be posting up tomorrow an update, and will also be letting us know about when he will be going live this week. So I appreciate, appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate you guys joining me um, while I did the swap out and saw how gross and disgusting the other knife was. So anyways, make sure to tune in tonight. I think Slicey Dicey is going to be doing his Blades and Brews, Brews and Blades. I'll try to listen to that as well. So you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day and an awesome week. Take care.